Constantine adopted the emperor. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2019, Monday of the second week of Lent and also the optional memorial of St. Cyril of Jerusalem. St. Cyril of Jerusalem should not be confused with St. Cyril of St. Cyril and Methodius. Cyril and Methodius are the patron saint of the Slavic peoples much later than St. Cyril of Jerusalem. St. Cyril of Jerusalem is a fourth century bishop. When Constantine adopted Christianity as the religion of the empire, that's when the bishop started to assemble and really buckle down and try to figure out certain theological things. Now, anybody who has studied Christology knows that the fourth century was very tumultuous when it came to studying the person and nature of Jesus Christ. For all the things that St. Cyril of Jerusalem had done, he's probably best known for a series of catechetical homilies he gave on the liturgy, the sacraments, and his mystagogical catechesis. These are wonderful works that give us insight into the early church. Probably the thing that comes out of that period that is most important to all of us is a discussion of faith, being a believer. When we use the word faith, when we talk about being a believer, what do we really mean? I have to admit some of the things I find while walking around are rather interesting. Someone left a chocolate egg flower for Our Lady of Guadalupe. You know, this is a pretty big place. I've got a lot I have to keep an eye on here. I remember the first time I studied the Christological debates. I was fascinated, actually, by a lot of what went on, a lot of the going back and forth, the arguments, all of the different things that they were just debating about. And, but in the end, the Christological debates are what define our faith today. As believers, this faith has been handed on from generation to generation. And it is an important thing because today still, we recite that creed. So again, even though St. Cyril of Jerusalem is an important figure in history and has done some great contributions to our faith, today we still will offer the Mass for Monday of the second week of Lent. All right, ready to go. If you recall the other day, I made an appointment to drop off a computer for repairs. Today's that day. I'm on my way now to the Apple Genius Bar to drop off my computer for repairs. You know, going off to the Apple Store, it's always an amazing thing. They're actually quite polite there. It's just sometimes you have to wait a little while to get service. So here we are. Um, I'm reflecting today a lot on faith and the meaning of faith and how many people need to not only say the words I believe, but work on living the words I believe. I believe. I say I believe. And if I say I believe, does anything have to be different in my life? So I can't just buy the, the box myself without the Hey sir, how are you doing? Good. Um, you have an appointment, or are you I just... think it was I think it was actually 1:30, but it's just a drop off, so I figured yeah, I'd come early. So we'll get someone to you in a couple minutes. You're gonna hang out right? Oh, nope. Something's already done. We just gotta save it right. And good. Yep. Yeah, we usually do both. All right. Thank you much. No problem. Have a good day. Hope to see you soon, real soon. Well, I've dropped off my computer yet again with Apple. Let's see if they can get it to work this time. Um, I'm reflecting today a lot on faith and the meaning of faith, but work on living the words I believe. So many today, I think, will say the words, but not truly appreciate the depth of them or really how important it is when they say, I believe, to live the faith. We do believe. I think we, we appreciate the great depth and, and gift of God, but then we fail when it comes to living it. I was running alongside the southern state where I was before, and it was still hammered. Hammered for like several exits.
You know, it's interesting. I didn't know that my thoughts would go this way today. But when I noticed that today's memorial was St. Cyril of Jerusalem, I've now spent a lot of time reflecting on that 4th century era, the 5th century era, in which the development of the creed took place. And then my brain is so slow sometimes, I'm like, and that's right. I wanted to call this vlog Credo. <laughs> credo is the Latin word, the first thing that we say when we say the creed. I believe. Credo en unum deum. Now, as someone who's got his own doctorate and has done a lot of work, I'll be the first to say, I don't think any one human being will ever exhaust all of theology, will be able to understand all that there is to understand. Even St. Augustine, as great as he was in his period, still had to struggle with that there's still more. There's always going to be more. I pursued a Master's of Divinity because I wanted to work in the church so that way I could help people understand our beliefs more so that they could more easily take an ownership of it. Of course, part of those studies were um, examining the early church and the development of the creed in time. So we're not here to get to the everything. What we're here to get to is the core of what it means to say, I believe, to have faith. When I was growing up in the 70s, it was kind of an interesting time because everything that was part of the deposit of the faith was up for grabs, it seemed. If somebody wanted to doubt something or say that the church was wrong on this or didn't know what it was talking about on that, it was happening like crazy. It was really honed. It wasn't like some person just walked in and had the thing written out and said, here you go, but rather it was discussed and debated over centuries and the greatest minds of antiquity came together and they solidified what was believed and why and backed it up with very good arguments. Just thinking about the Christological period of history when they debated the person and nature of Christ, the nature of the Trinity, did God die on the cross, was Mary the mother of God, things that we accept so easily today in a matter of faith. Why aren't we today still having those basic kinds of conversations, those deep theological enriching conversations. We, if, if I say the words I believe, it's not superficial. It, it, it's not. If theology is faith-seeking understanding, then I have the faith and I believe, and I believe Jesus Christ died and rose, but then I have to try to understand. That study and my advanced degree helped provide the framework for what I work in now. However, I find myself utilizing a lot more of the practical skills I've developed and um, knowledge I've had in conversation with others and in teaching others. So I don't really get into huge theological debates with people in the church or with the children I teach, of course, but rather I help them to understand how to live their faith. Now, if understanding, if God could just click, turn it on, boom, I, I get it, but I don't. And that's why I keep reading. That's why I have my books and I spend time reading these you know, various works. I, I, I look at articles. I do these things because I still want to understand what it is that I say I believe. I believe means that I have to accept that there's a lot that I don't know, that there's a lot that is still yet to be revealed to me, but that I am going to accept it, I'm going to live it, I am going to do it every day. Because if I don't, then the consequences could be very, very bad. The consequences in my life could be disastrous. I see faith as the ownership of one's belief. So not just a matter of, I, I say I believe these things, but rather a relationship with God. He reveals himself to me. I believe, I truly believe. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead and descended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Faith means believing completely in Christ and knowing whatever his will is will happen in your life and 
trusting in him, having that trust. Amen. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.